public roads for water, underground electric. What if I just want a giant solar panel and disconnect it and carry my water? Catchment. No, you're going to say, no, you can't do it. And then eventually, it seems like the plan here is for these guys to amass as much of all the normal people's land as they can that are working day by day and just barely struggling to hold on to paying these taxes and paying everything else. And just, oh yeah, this is, this is just, it makes me nauseous reading this. It's even more pissing me off than the fencing thing and killing off the underwear. <laughs> This is the draft thing. You guys can see how they, they slash through what they have written in the red. It's bizarre. It says, um, this falls under the eligible project guidelines number eight. And what they slashed out does not unduly burden existing water systems, sewage and other waste disposal systems, transportation systems, roadway drainage, street light, open spaces, parks, or other recreational areas, public utilities, and public services or includes as part of the proposed project the development of such systems, facilities, and services at reasonable cost. They scratched all that out, got rid of that, and then just wrote on there, like he said at the beginning of the meeting, oh, there would be an EIS. It assesses environmental impacts as required under Chapter 343. Well, duh, that's a law, you know. And then right after that sentence about the Chapter 343, they scratch out the word utilizes, but then write uses indigenous species of plants whenever and wherever feasible in the landscaping of the project. So after they bulldoze everything, they got the little token, you know, whatever they're going to put up, a little lahala tree or something, but I don't see anywhere in here of requiring any consultation with Native Hawaiians on usages of the land that is theirs. You're calling it ceded land, it's kingdom lands, and that's been obvious for quite a while. And I think the other lady did you know, also talk about this thing, I can't even believe it when I read it, about putting liens on your property after they get the proposals for develop, development, they're, the people developing are putting in this stuff, saying you have to connect and you're going to lose your land. And even one of the sentences said, even if you're a person with disabilities, you still, you got your 30 days. If you don't pay, that's the same that you can, um, that you're agreeing to this situation of having another mortgage. And the only thing on your lien of your property that's going to be bigger than that is the lien for property taxes. And I, I brought up the wrong folder, but I just couldn't even believe it either. The only way you can get out of that is sue them. If you're in a court of law and you bring them to court, because they're saying you have to hook up on their assessments and pay whatever they deem necessary with their assessments taken to court. So I think what we all need to do right now, tell as many people as you can about these papers. It's the first time I saw them tonight. Let everybody know what they're trying to do, and let's all sue them. Sue the DLNR from the top, sue this corporation that they're trying to stay under them. It's, it's just bizarre, thank you. So, through it. 
And this is what it makes me think of. I mean, this thing is chock full of, uh, how would you say? Uh, oh yeah, I mean, not just not just sweetheart deals, not just inside job. I mean, chock full of inconsistencies and outright contradictions. Uh, let's see, culturally sensitive means being sensitive to the culture and his culture and history of the lands. This is a living embodiment of the culture and history of this land, which is theft <laughs> at gunpoint. And but these days, you know. Hey, this is the modern world we live in. People play with pens, not swords. Let's see, what else do we have here? Improvement means the addition and renovation, replacement, repairs, or maintenance. And yet, do you really think that you're improving some of these natural wild areas? Uh, let's see, what else? Um, you have here on page 302-8, in bright red letters, optimize, and yet in the definition section, you don't even say how you define what it means to optimize. I mean, I can guess, by your definitions. Uh, let's see, and I'm glad, uh, well, one of the ladies kind of stole my thunder a little bit when she did the Kui Bono thing, like, that's actually, uh, that's kind of my thing. But uh, the answer to that is right here. Who profits? Ah, let's see, subsection 13-302-25, subsection 2, generates a consistent and sustainable source of revenue for the state as applicable. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 the extent to which the proposed project is culturally sensitive. Now let's think about this. Everything about this is culturally insensitive. I mean, cultural sensitivity, everything from the E to the end of the Northwest of Hawaii Islands, that's cultural sensitivity. We're sensitive to that. Now, gentlemen, now that my time is up, I will do one last thing. Now, let's pretend that we're actually in a democracy here. Let's get a show of hands. Opposed? In favor? Okay, opposed again. Gentlemen, take a hard look. I mean, I get a chicken skin right now. I'm not, you know, none of these people here are directly angry at you guys. We understand that you guys have people to answer to, and you were sent here to take a little bit of verbal flogging from the public. We understand that you guys are in a very difficult position, but what we want is for you to accurately represent to your bosses the way the public actually feels. We understand fully that your bosses are going to do whatever they want, as evidenced by stuff like this and what we've seen for decades. Crap. However, you guys have a responsibility to the public. You guys are public servants. Public land. I hope. Thank you very much.
state laws, county regulations, and a domestic kingdom laws. That is the process of reinstatement. There have been several countries that got their nations back within the last 20, 30 years. There was at least 80 countries that got them back. We can do the same. And you gentlemen here representing the state are welcome in our country. All you gotta do is pledge your allegiance to the proper authority. <laughs> what everybody's confused about, what everybody's confused about is this third party authority. Ceded lands was land given by one third party to another third party. The first third party being the Republic of Hawaii, giving away these lands to the second third party called the United States of America. The properties that belong to the first and second party without their consideration or even nothing, you know what I mean? And now they come over here and they're gonna ram some more down. Well, let me tell you, all we gotta do is stand up and pledge your allegiance to your proper authority, which is your own kingdom. So, on your island, you have representatives. I'm sure you've seen the yellow license plates floating around. Those are the people who are steam, I don't know if I say steam rolling. We're setting the pace for our people to come home. We can organize, and I have faith in you. Aloha kako. As I mentioned earlier, when we first started, uh, tonight's meeting is just a uh, testimony in, in response to the, the rules uh, that we uh, passed out that you had a chance to take a look at. It's, uh, you know, uh, probably some of you or maybe all of you would want uh, to, to talk about and debate, uh, but that's not the, uh, the reason for tonight. Uh, you know, uh, we came out, uh, it's, it's uh, a public hearing. Uh, and, and it's, it's uh, you know, we've, we've done that, we've heard you, we've heard you loud and clear. So what we do now is, uh, you know, we, we take uh, the message that you gave tonight, uh, some of the uh, issues that you raised in the rules, and, you know, we're going to take a look at that after we uh, go to the, uh, the the rest of the public hearings uh, that's, uh, that's slated for this week and next week. And after we, uh, you know, compile all of the uh, Comments uh, to the uh, to the to the rules itself, and we'll come out with responses to uh, each and every question or concern that you have in the rules itself. So, I thank you for coming this evening, and uh, thank you. Why wasn't this recorded in its entirety? If this is a hearing. Okay, and also I, you know, I have a question. You know, they're saying that the governor's. Uh, uh, popularity has gone way down that he's collected so much money for his campaign. So is that all the guys that are lining up to develop the, the uh, public land? Is that where all those donations came from? Well. Thank you, thank you for your opportunity. You see that? It did, it's beautiful. <laughs> so, it, 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 we're, we're going to publish it in our new book. Hey, how are you? Mr. Tomas Belsky, beautiful wife Moani, gave me a copy of that awesome museum wall. That's what he drew for today. Good meeting. And this concludes the Hilo version of the Public Land Development Corporation. Uh -huh. Public meeting, August 20th, 2012. Hello.